So apparently this don't turn on, this PS4 Pro. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Honestly, it's probably going to be the power supply in this. It normally is. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's stone dead. All right. It's normally one of two things. It's normally either the power supply or the disk drive. Uh, sorry, not disk drive. <laughs> power supply or the uh, south bridge on these. So, we'll see. Hey everybody, I'm in my car right now, but I just wanted to tell you about today's sponsor, my own online store, consolefix.shop. Everything goes towards supporting the channel, and obviously all of the income comes to me, so it really does help out. And talking of helping out, I'm doing a build series on a new workshop build in the next couple of months, hopefully sometime towards the summer. And if you want to contribute towards that, there'll be some information in the top in comment if you want to support the channel and, you know, contribute towards the new workshop fund. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all later on. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mom, and I'll see you all later. Let's just have a look. This is a CXD 90042GG. But what I want to do is... I want to see if we get any power to this power supply. Right, okay, so I'm going to go into voltage mode. And I'm going to check for a 5 volt rail. We do get 4.8 volts there, so chances are it's going to be the south bridge which has failed on this. Do we get anything on the power button? We do. We get 3.3 .3 volts. So... That should realistically attempt to turn on, and it's not. Even with just 5 volts, even if the 12 volt part of the power supply wasn't working, it would still at least attempt to power on. You'd get a 2 second blue light of death. You know, if the power supply was faulty. Um, because it's supplying the 5 volts and it's supplying the 3.3 .3 volts to the power button, that's telling me that it's likely going to be a south bridge issue which is really really common on these especially on the 90042 we get five volts on this rt chip um so yeah power is being supplied to the power management chip chances are it's this but there are a couple of tests i can do just to check that right so the south bridge on this it's on the other side of the board, just there. So you've got the CXD 90042GG. I know it's a bit out of focus. I'm not going to get it in focus just for that. It was readable. If you look on the other side, we've got this chip here. This is the secondary RAM. It's like a case chip. And then here we've got a bunch of components, which is basically the uh, underside of the south bridge. So if you look for a bunch of really compact components... That's where the safe bridge actually is. So if we go into continuity mode, pop one probe on ground, and test these inductors, and yep, yeah, indeed, that is short to ground. So that means the safe bridge is bad. So this inductor here shouldn't be short to ground, and we've got a one ohm short. So that means that that safe bridge is 100% bad, and that is going to be the cause of this issue. And one thing I recommend, especially when working with BJ, and I know this sounds destructive, but these boards are really awkward to work with, especially if you're working without a board holder like I do. Um, I don't work with a board holder because if you've got it in a board holder, you've got to sit there like, like this and you're kind of like hovering over, over it, you know, with your hands and you can't rest your hands. So one thing I recommend you doing, it might sound a little bit destructive, but they bend back pretty easily. Just bend these pins like that. Just so you can lay the board down flat on the table and keep it nice and secure. It might seem like you're de destroying the board, but you're really not. They've been back easy enough. But at least now I know that the board's not going to... Well, it's still going to wobble a little bit just, just because that's just the way the boards are. But you can weigh it down on the one corner, which is what I'm going to do. A lot of people ask me as well, why can't you just reflow this like you do with, for example, a CPU? This is actually short. This is faulty. A reflow is not going to fix it. Just want to remove it and replace it. So I'm at 440 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to go for 
40% airflow. I'll preheat the board a little bit before I come down and actually start to remove the chip. But those inductors being bad, it's a dead giveaway. It's the same on the PS4 Slim as well. It's really common because they use the same safe bridge. Alright, so I'll start coming in a bit closer. You don't want to lift up too early on this as well. You want to make sure it's fully flowed before you start to lift up. Because the pads are incredibly fragile and BGA trace repair is not fun. So all I do is I just reflow it and I just keep tapping it. When it starts to move freely I can remove it. Like that. I'll give it a few more seconds. And then remove it. There you go. Perfect. Uh, no, even a V-ball won't fix this. This chip's dead. Well, that chip's just gone completely. It's replace only in this situation, I'm afraid. Sometimes a reflow can help, but that's only when it's been dropped. Or when it's had some kind of an impact. Replace it with leaded solder. Have a lower the melting temperature. Just make sure we get every single pad. There we go, and then I'll get some solder braid and wick it all away properly. So I'm using Gootwick 2.5mm solder braid, consolefix.shop. <laughs> you can buy your solder braid from me. Sometimes a little bit of heat helps. So these are very high temperature areas. But the, the heat soak on this is unbelievable. A bit of hot air helps just to wick it away. You don't want to damage the pads. Right, I'm just going to give this a clean. Clean up after every action on these. Plus, it allows you to inspect it and make sure you've got no damage as well. So, it's best to clean it anyway. I thought that was damaged, and I was going to say. Nope. Absolutely fine. Perfect. Right, let me see if I've got any brand new in stock, or if I've got a Reborn one. Hopefully I haven't got a Reborn one, but it's not a major issue if I have. Ah, rats. I ain't got none. I'll have to grab one off a donor board. Right, so I've got a PS4 Slim board there. Ignore the gun call over it. So let's just test this and make sure this is okay. Again, same place, directly below it. Test it in exactly the same way. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, that one's dead. And that's why you test it before you pull it off. Okay, that one's good. So, if you look here. So, that's, that's a ground point there. No short, see? So that's how it's meant to read. It's meant to read with no short. And obviously the one that we had on was reading a short. That one seems fine. This one seems okay. It looks like I've actually replaced that or someone has at some point. Perhaps for an old pair of issue and it didn't end up fixing it. I don't know. doesn't really matter uh, as long as it's a good chip. The only problem with these, when you get stuff like this, is it's actually cheaper to repair it if it's the power supply. Because these chips ain't cheap. Like even to buy these from China, for this specific model of chip, you're talking like £25. To buy them in the UK, they're like 40 It's ridiculous. Because they're hard to get, basically. Again, even though this is on a donor board, I don't want to remove it too soon because I don't want to risk damaging pads on the actual chip. Right, that's almost ready. There we go. Right, it might look like the pads are damaged there, but they're not. They're just oxidised. It's just a bit of oxidation. Nothing a bit of leaded solder can't fix. Well, that's not my reball because that is low melt solder. It isn't me that's replaced that. Look at it. You see it? 
Ugh. Slow melt solder, that is. It's not me that's replaced that in the past then. Someone has, but... Problem with me is I don't know where half of my donor boards come from because I buy them in batches. So I don't know where half of them have come from or what's been done to them. And what chips are good, what chips are not. Basically just a lottery. Yeah, so that's, that's a low melt solder. It's uh, not good to be leaving that kind of solder on a chip. So I'll do a bit of scraping on this just to get rid of the oxidation. You might end up with a little bit of the coating coming off the chip, but it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. All right, let's clean that up. Hopefully, I don't have to reball this by hand. I'm pretty sure it's the a similar layout to the um, PS5 South Bridge. It's been a while since I've reboiled one of these, they don't sell very often. I've still got one oxidised pad there. Uh, there is another way you can do it, if you struggle. What you can do instead is, if you just scrape at the pad a little bit, not too much, just scrape a little bit at the pad, preferably not with your good tweezers though. Uh, in fact, I'll clean it first to get rid of this flux. So I'll be able to see better what I'm doing then. There we go. Uh, actually, no, that's not not oxidised. It must have been burnt flux. Uh, then again, yeah, it is a little bit on this pad here. So if you scrape it just a little bit, just rough it up a little bit, kind of like keying it. If that makes sense. You know, like your care wall when you're plastering or something. Right, if you key it. There you go. So it's took the solder now. Beautiful. Just give it a little key somewhere for the solder to bite to sort of thing. And then when you wick it away, it'll be nice and pretty. I'm going to try a PS5 stencil and just see if I can get away with using that and then just manually place the rest of them. I don't know if I will or not. It might be a bit smaller. I need to see if I've got a universal stencil to fit it. Uh, yeah, I'll get away with that. So what I'll do, I'll just place whatever solder balls are on there. You can see it's a fairly similar layout. So I'll place whatever solder balls I can there and then I'll manually place the rest. I tried to be your everything, gave my everything I sold out. Now just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left.
there we go. Oh yeah, classic Cody Rebel, that's the one. That looks beautiful. Happy days. Pin one is bottom left. This is gonna go that way. So I've got I've got flux on the chip itself, so I'm not gonna put any more on the board. I don't wanna have it flying away on me. So yeah, that is absolutely plenty of flux, as you can see. All right, there we go. That is that. We might get low resistance because it's warm. In fact, I'm going to give it a few more seconds because it's very hot on this side as well. I'll give it a couple more seconds. I don't want to end up squashing it and causing the balls to merge underneath. I'm just going to give this a check and make sure that the short is gone. Indeed it has. There we go. This should be fixed. This should be working. Now let's try it. Does it work? Of course it works. Of course it's always a safe bridge. <laughs> Boom. We have a winner. Let's get it. Let's go. There we go. Your retention ability to remember all the numbers of chip voltages, etc. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's only like a mechanic, really, isn't it? Like getting uh, getting used to stuff like that, or an electrician getting used to Z readings and things. Don't touch it, Travis. <laughs> FIFA check. No, I don't know where my PS4 four controller is. So I'll have to give it a full test off off camera. But she's working again. Loving it. Don't down play your skills. I don't. It's just it's only like any other thing, isn't it? Where where you get used to your profession, like you get used to your trade and stuff. Oh, there we go. Um, good to see. You. Yeah, glad you was watching the stream, Jake. Awesome. Um, I'll have to give it a full test off stream because I don't know where my uh, PS4 controller has gone. Uh, the one I've got in the workshop, I spilt coffee in it. So yeah, I've got to find my other one. Well, there it is, but it's. Uh, It's a little bit ugh. <laughs> it's got something in it. Like the look at that. You see it? Ugh. Yeah, I need to strip it down and clean it. It works, but I need to strip it down and clean it. But yeah, I'll test it off stream. Um the main the main thing is it's working. Um the issue that it's been sent in for is fixed, so good shit.